Hello there, I'm Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you how to manually tune your TV. Um, you might want to do this if you're in an area where you've got lots of transmitters scattered around you and your TV just can't pick the right transmitter. So um, you, you might have heard that it's possible to manually tune you, you know, and tell your TV what transmit to use. I do advise where possible to try and filter the unwanted signals out of your system if you're getting troubles with you know, other transmitters drifting in and your TV storing them because it would just make for less problems. Uh, but if you don't want to come out, for, if you don't feel confident doing that for yourself, we don't pay a professional to come out and do that for you. Uh, and manually manually tune TV is a good option. So I'm just, gonna get, I'm just gonna start. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it on an auto tune with the area disconnected. Uh, and the way the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get rid of everything that's stored on that in a minute. So just before I made this video, I made a video on how to retune your TV for an auto tune, uh, and I want to undo that now. So if I go to auto store. Um, now this is probably one of the best ways to do it. You can do sort of factory resets and stuff like that, which will work, but a lot of TVs nowadays, I'll, tell you what, I'll do this at the same time and I'll just come back to what I was talking about. So while well, it's doing that. So a lot of TVs nowadays, if you do a factory reset, they take so long to really set up. They've got so many things like colour settings, sound settings, um, you know, service agreements you've got to agree to, you've got to read, and they force you to take all the boxes, and you've got to connect your Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And just to set up a TV from the beginning uh, can take, you know, 15 minutes. So if you're reaching your TV, it can be a bit of a palaver. So um, all TVs are different. I mean, this is a Samsung TV, and I know that this method works for just for getting rid of stuff we don't want. Um, if we just scan through, but like I said, it's just skipping past, it's not finding anything, uh, and at the end we're going to click save, uh, so we just delete everything that's on there. So then we can manually input the ones we want, uh, and we know that they're going to be the right services because we've done our investigation on the transmitter, um, and so we know the frequencies that we're going to put in, which I'm going to come to in a moment. So that's nearly finished, so actually I can actually I can whack that, I can whack that back in now, because in my area the signals are finished now, 16 above, that's 4G. Uh, there's no TV signals around anymore, uh, and certainly lower than that, it's going to be 5G. Just got to get that back in there. That's fine. So all done. So, okay, it's gone to analog. Doesn't matter. If you ever get this type of fuzz, this is analog. It can only be analog unless you're being brought, unless they're physically broadcasting that. So, if you think there's something wrong with your area when you're getting that screen, you know, in 2018 and beyond. It's because you're on analog, you just need to get find your way back to digital. Uh, so now we're going to manually tune the TV. So on my particular, again, this is a Sony. On my particular TV, it's menu, and then go down to the satellite dish. So your remote might be different. It might say settings or something like that. Um, you just got to find out which button does. So on mine, it says menu here. I'm just pressing that. And then with the curse keys, I'm scrolling down to auto store. Oh, no, sorry. I'm going to go down to this satellite dish. Now, I don't know why it's got a picture of a satellite dish, because my TV hasn't got a satellite connection, you can't put a satellite dish into it. Um, but that just represents a broadcast in general. So, I'm going to go down to, oh, I've done it again. I'm going to go across to manual store. And then digital channel. Now, at this point, you're going to think, oh, well, what, what am I supposed to be putting into here? And to be honest, I can't tell the exact answers unless I know the trans. If you do have any questions, or you know the transmitter you're using, I can point to the right sources to find out what the frequencies are that you're using. But because region to region, transmitters broadcast different frequencies, then I can't tell you exactly what numbers to put in here. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of investigation about your transmitter. And for that, I recommend a website, uh, ukfreetv.co.uk or .com. Um, don't quote me on that. And they've got, if you just go in there, if you know the name of your transmitter, or you know what you're using, usually there's a main transmitter in your area, or there's like a relay transmitter or something like that. So you might want to talk to your neighbors and see what they say. You can actually find what frequencies and you know, your, your, your transmitter is using, so you know what's put into here. Um, just at the moment, at the time I'm writing this, we've just had a big shake up of the channels to make way for 5G to come in, so that website hasn't quite been updated, but I've noticed they are starting to update stuff. So if you're doing this like, you know, when I'm recording this video in <laughs> you here, August 2018, um, it might not be out to date, so just, just bear that in mind. You know, don't just put an angry message at the bottom, you were wrong. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to go back to that screen, because I was waffling for so long, it didn't give me time, so go to manual store. Digital channel. Now, when you know, I'm just going to explain this for a minute. So, we've got channel that isn't TV channel. That's a UHF channel. So, the UHF, where the TV's broadcast, is, is, is broadcast in megahertz, but this is kilohertz. So, 
if we, if we just ignore the last three digits, then you've got like, the megahertz. Um, so it's a full pass of megahertz, but it's, it's going to be so much more difficult to remember all the megahertz and stuff like that. So they, they, they split it into eight megahertz groups, and they go from 21 to 69. Uh, now we only use, currently we only use up to sort of 59, 60, but that's going to be dropping down to 49, 50 because of 5G. So, but what we need to know what the, what the frequencies are, which is why you need to do the investigation on your transmitter. Well, I know mine, so I'm going to go to 40. You know, see this, James? This is 626 kilohertz or 626 megahertz. 626,000 kilohertz or 626 megahertz. And now that cycles per second in the air. So, that's, so if you imagine that one a second, it's doing that 626,000 times per second, uh, which is quite remarkable, really. Um, and again, the bandwidth, we don't need to change that. Your TV might not have the channel option, it might force you to put in kilohertz or megahertz, then you know, then you're gonna have to put it into that way. But most TVs will put allow you to put your UHF channel in. Like I said, it makes it so much easier for us. And we're gonna have to repeat this process a few times because depending on what area you are, you might have three groups of channels, you might have six groups of channels, you might have seven groups of channels. So if you're up around London, the Crystal Palace Transit, there's eight or nine groups of channels with their local TV as well. But in, in my area, in East Sussex, using the Heathfield Transit, there's currently six groups of channels, so we have to repeat this six times. Um, so manual storage, so I've just done UHF channel 40 and I'm going to go up to 41 and put that in. And also, you, well, I was saying that, you might have, only have five. If, if, you're on a, if, if you've got a, what's well, not a Freeview HD TV, it means you won't be able to tap into Freeview HD. So where, where you've got that, that frequency, you might not be able to put your TV, your TV might not understand it. Um, so next one up, so I've done 40, 41, the next one is 43. Uh, and again, I'm just doing this from memory, just because I've done this so, so many times. Uh, in the last 11 years, I've probably retuned about four TVs a day, so I can't even bother to work that out, I've done it so many. Um, and we're going to go to 44, which is the next one. Just searching for that. So, it's only 13 channels, only give me good channels at a time. Uh, just a couple more to go now. So next one is 46. Instantly, the, the, the heat will transmit when using the frequency band is group B. So if you know, we've only really got group A and group B now. We used to have group C, D as well and stuff like that. Uh, and the last one is and what, 47. Now this one, this is the HD multiplex. So this one's got all the HD services. Um, so it will come in with less services because it requires more information. It would be like seven or something like that. Seven, yeah, there you go. So that's, if I go to 101 now, that's, that's the HD channels and stuff like that. And incidentally, Film 4 Plus 1, which goes, even though it's not HD, comes in with that HD channel. So if you can't get Film 4 Plus 1, there's a good chance you haven't got Freeview HD TV. Even if it's Freeview compatible and HD compatible, it doesn't mean it's Freeview HD compatible. <laughs> I know, it's, 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 they could have rebranded it slightly different. Um, that's it, Monday. this TV's retuned now, so I know, because I know the frequencies, that that's 100% right. Now if we run an auto-tune, there's a good chance it'll be stored in some duplicate channels, so when you, when you put an aerial up and point it one direction, it doesn't mean you're not going to get signals drifting off the side of it. And your TV may store the wrong signals. So rather than storing the good signals that work reliably, it might store the weak signals, that obviously because the aerials point the wrong way, or it's the wrong type, or it's, it's mounted the wrong way, um, and then you might get pixelation. And it, it, I, I, it's very common. It's very, very common. I've had to drive to Tum and Wales before now, uh, after I put an aerial installation up, and just to find that the TV was reaching the wrong. Not something I did myself, but um, so nowadays I try and filter out the unwanted channels. It's not as always easy as it sounds, but uh, certainly it makes it a lot easier to retune. But if you're manually tuning TV, you won't get that problem. So. I hope you like this video. If you did like it, please do give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please do give it a like and share if it's on the social media or anything like that. And please, 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 please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more videos like this. We don't just do TV tuning, we'll do TV setups, TV aerial setups, AV setups, CCTV. So you'll learn a lot if you just watch the videos and stay subscribed. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. Any comments, please do it in the section below. I'm Tom. Bye for now.